Hi there, it's Clark the dog here once again to share some of my favorite words. But first let's talk about some letters. As you probably remember, vowels are the letters A, E, I, O, and U. And sometimes the letter Y. But do you remember that the other letters are called consonants? Consonants are letters that are not vowels, and sometimes the letter Y is also used as a consonant. Why can't the letter Y make up its mind? Why, oh why? That's for another lesson. We have some great words to learn today. Let's look at some words that follow a pattern. The pattern is two of the same consonants with vowels on each side. The double consonants separate two parts of a word. It's like pushing two words together to make a word that means something different. Let's push two words together to make another word that will almost certainly make you want to bark. Push the words kit and tin together to make a word with two T's in the middle. Kit and tin become kitten. The vowel I is to the left of the two T's. The vowel E is to the right of the two T's. When that happens, we only say the T sound once, even though the letter T is written twice. We don't say kitten, we say kitten. Then, most of the time after saying kitten, we say ruff, ruff. Or, at least I do, kitten, ruff. Ruff. The meaning changed too. We don't mean ten kits. We mean one baby cat. Ruff, ruff. I like to bark after saying cat too. Ruff, ruff. We call these parts of words syllables. The word kitten has two parts. It has two syllables. The first syllable we read is kit, and the second syllable we read is n, kitten, ruff, ruff. The word bark only has one syllable. Some other great words only have one syllable. Hmm, let me think of a great one syllable word. I got it. Dog. Bark, bark. Why is this box barking? It's because I'm hidden. And I drew a picture of a cat inside the box. Bark, bark. Okay, you can take the box away now. The word hidden looks like the words hid and den were pushed together. But we don't say hidden. We read it as hidden. I've invited my friends, the butterflies, to join me because they do something really well. They flutter by me all the time. Let's look at the word flutter. It has two T's in the middle. The vowel U is to the left of the two T's. The vowel E is on the right of the two T's. The syllables in the word flutter are flut and er. It's like we pushed flut and ter together, but flut is not a word. 
So sometimes those syllables we push together are not words by themselves, but we push them together. And now it's one word that tells us all about butterflies moving through the air. Lots of consonants can be in the middle of words with vowels on both sides. Like the letter B, as in rabbit. Rabbits are fun to bark at too. But you probably already knew that. Bark, bark. Here are some more words with double consonants in the middle of the words. The letter C in soccer. D in ladder. F in suffix. L in pillow. M in hammer. N in minnows. P in supper. R in carrot. T in otter. Z in buzzer. Is it my imagination? Or are there double letters everywhere? That's not the way it works. We really need to fix that. That's better. Oh boy.